So today we are looking at the Ubuntu 24.10 Oracular Oreal and its uh, flavors. So there are 11 flavors in the Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors. So that's the reason I made all in one video. So I don't want to make a lengthy video by uh, all the separate uh, videos of the separate Ubuntu flavors. So that's the reason I made all in one. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the important changes and all those things. So instead of making a lot of uh, videos, I already made like a beta versions and also the daily build versions. So instead of making again these table versions, so it's better to make like a short, like a five, six minutes videos. So I took all the main important screenshots of 11 flavors. So I made all the Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavor screenshots. So all the important things and uh, like uh, INX, I-SV8, all the system information, NeoFetch, FastFetch, whatever it is. I showed all the screenshots in the screenshots here in the video. So you should be seeing all the screenshots with the versions, system monitor and all those things. So instead of making uh, videos, I made like a screenshot so you can easily get all the information in just like a few minutes uh, video. So instead of like a lengthy videos. So you don't see any changes uh, other than the beta versions, but there are some few changes like a uh, Firefox version uh, to the latest version, which is a uh, 131 and uh, the LibreOffice 24 point something like that. I, I made like all the screenshots, so you don't need to worry about anything. And the same things you should be seeing in Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors, for example, like a Linux kernel. So instead of making all those videos, I just screenshot all those things. So you should be seeing the same kernel version like a Linux 6.11 stable version you can see uh, in the official website of linux kernel so if you want to get to the uh, linux kernel website you just need to type in like a linux kernel in the system or else you can watch my previous videos of any uh, uh, videos available in the linux distros of my channel you can get uh, to the official website i showed in every videos so you should be getting the linux kernel 6.11 about the ubuntu you get the gnome 47 about the ubuntu matte and ubuntu cinnamon I clearly screenshot uh, all those things and put it in the uh, video so you can see all the changes and about the Ubuntu 24.10 it's not a LTS so that's the reason I didn't make a video it, it should be a waste of time just for the nine months uh, uh, distro we don't need to make like a complete videos so if you still want and if you still didn't uh, satisfied with this uh, my video you can just go back to my videos of beta version or the uh, daily build versions i made all the videos of complete uh, distros so if it's a ubuntu i made complete video of ubuntu about the ubuntu kubuntu whatever it is i made clear videos of everything but if you want short information of the stable uh, distros of uh, ubuntu and ubuntu flavors here is the video I, I i took all the important screenshots you should be seeing everything and uh, about uh, the support you should be getting nine months but if you ask me, I'm not going to recommend because it's only supported until July 2025, which is like a nine months. So if you ask me what uh, version you were, I'm going to recommend, I'm going to recommend the Ubuntu 24.04 LTS Noble Numbet, which is the latest version. It's going to support at least like a 2029. So Ubuntu uh, LTS will be supported like a 2029 and the other Ubuntu flavors like a Lubuntu, Kubuntu and all those things will be supported until 2027, like a three years. So that's the reason I'm recommending that uh, LTS version. So it will be supported, the Ubuntu will be supported like a five years and other Ubuntu flavors of uh, 24.0 for LTS will be supported like a three years. So the latest version of Ubuntu is like a 24.04.1. So there is like a 0.1 update, which has like a, some bug fixes and all those things. So there are also some changes in the 24.10, which is GCC 14.2 new binularities 2.4.43.1 llvm and uh, other things like uh, audio information and the graphics information and all those things i provided everything in this uh, video you can see all the screenshots and also the wayland x11 cinnamon wayland and all those things i clearly uh, took all the important screenshots and also about the system requirements and how much of resources it's going to consume and all those things i made a video or i took all the screenshot in the video and also there was some issues even if it's a stable iso file there was like some issues in ubuntu cinnamon and also the ubuntu in the virtual machines so right now uh, in the screenshots you should be seeing all those things i recorded in the virtual machine 
which is a virtual box with a 60 GB of virtual disk, 8 GB of RAM and my CPU is i5 1240p. So the booting process took like a few seconds, maybe like a one and a half minute maximum, like a two minutes, but everything was uh, working properly. But there were some minor bugs in some uh, distros. So that's the reason I took all those screenshots also with the bugs. So if you want to see, you can see all those things in the video. So the same applications version will be found in every distro or every Ubuntu uh, flavors. So that's the reason I didn't uh, uh, show everything. Uh, that's the reason I didn't make a video. So I just took the screenshots. So the main objective of this video is you should be seeing the same kernel and you should be seeing uh, same the based or Ubuntu flavors and Ubuntu will be same versions. And about the applications, you should be getting all the same applications. The only thing you should be seeing changes is the desktop environments with the uh, different changes like our versions. And other than that, you should be seeing some desktop changes of wallpapers and some minor features. Other than that, the base will be same and the kernels will be same. Everything will be same. So that's the reason whatever the changes is uh, available in that separate Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors. I took all those screenshots. So here you should be seeing all the screenshots of the video. In the video so that's the reason i didn't make any uh, complete video i already made like a beta version daily builds and all those things it will be a waste of time for you also so instead of checking all those uh, separate videos you should be seeing all the screenshots so it took a lot of time to make uh, almost like 11 uh, distros i booted it i took screenshots and again i shut it down there was some issues so that's the reason i turned off like a uh, three four times in every distros so I, I put a lot of work in this video. Usually I don't ask you for the like, but so uh, there is like a lot of work done for this video. So try to like this video if you want uh, another video like this. If you want to get all the information in just a short videos, I'll be providing all the like uh, whatever the other things uh, or the next version of the Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors videos. I'll be making like a short uh, video of that. So you should be getting all the information in a just short videos. By seeing the screenshots, you should be getting also the information to use that specific version or not. So that's the reason I opened all the task manager in the uh, XFC desktop environment basis. And in the uh, GNOME version, I opened the system monitor. So you can see all the resources. So you can judge it on your own whether to use that specific uh, Ubuntu or Ubuntu flavor. So it will be clearly up to you. So instead of talking all those things, so you can listen all the music and you can see all the screenshots. So I'm going to end the uh, voice over here so you can see all the screenshots and you can judge it on your own. So again, that's uh, nine months uh, support. So I really don't recommend you to do that. But uh, if you're still uh, want to use this uh, specific version, you can try it just for nine months and then you need to go to another version. But if you're trying to go with the uh, long term support you can go with the ubuntu 24.04.1 lts noble nubet or else if you want just like a, a temporary linux distro you can try the uh, this version which is ubuntu 24.10 and also other uh, flavors which is supported for nine months and about the applications and about the audio graphics you should be seeing same information so i provided all the screenshots so it's uh, clearly up to you to judge and if I had any uh, missing information, I'm going to provide it in the description. So you don't need to worry about anything. And if I forgot anything in the video, uh, do let me know in the comment section so I can uh, change it uh, to other videos. And also I'll be posting two videos daily. So that's the reason if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. But today I'm not going to post two videos because it already took like uh, nine hours to make this video, just a single video because 11 distros, uh, taking a screenshot booting thing and also uh, everything took a lot of time it took almost like a 9 to 10 hours so that's the reason i'm i've been sitting like almost nine hours without properly eating so that's the reason i'm asking you if you want to like this button uh, if you want to like this video you can like it or else it's clearly up to you thanks for watching peace out